industry. Okay, continuing on with the uh, Kicker Booth 2013 PGA Show. Now we're going to talk some apparel. James Lepp. So uh, show us the goods. Yeah, um, this is kind of our new shoe, if you will, for the 2013 season. So this took a lot of our attention and time. It's a very tight line, a small line, but it's almost like coming out with 10 new pairs of shoes. So it takes a lot of work. Each piece needs its time and attention. So we start off with the simple polos. The one I'm wearing is called the Half Naked Polo. It has a unique half stripe down the side. Cool kicker logo and just a, a barcode on the back. All the materials have a cottony feel but have the polyester to wick away the moisture and perform on the golf course. More of a classical look here with our heather polo. Just a simple pocket on the front. Is that a cotton there or what? That... It is a poly cotton, so it's got okay. a cotton feel but it uh, performs like polyester. So that one really, looks very soft. It's very soft, very yeah. comfortable. It's probably better for the northern climates, maybe in the south. Maybe get a little too sweaty, but that's where the half naked is probably a little bit better for that. And being from the northwest, we kind of take the inspiration from that area. Okay. And then a little bit of more of a younger look with our coastal polo with the cut and sew pattern. Same material as the heather polo, uh, just in a cool new pattern, a little bit younger. So those are the three polos we have. We have obviously tons of colors coming out of them. Uh, this is our early bird sweater. A little bit of a throwback item, kind of similar to the saddle shoe with the almost a half cardigan look, a little pocket on the front. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. And then uh, really cool is this jacket that we have coming on next year. This is the now Walker next year jacket. meaning it's sorry, 2013, stuck in 2012. Okay, <laughs> it's this year. All right, this season. This season. I'm saying, next, season. Year, this season. I'm <laughs> okay. saying next year for so long. I'm just used to this being the 2013. Gotcha. So this is this year. It's coming out in about a month. So. Uh, it's got a hidden hood back here too that you can zip and still Oh nice, away. okay. Waterproof. It's just a nice light jacket for spring and fall. And then we just have some simple shorts. And Those look great. Just in the three colors coming out. Uh, ties in nicely with the shoes. We didn't want to take anything away from the shoes. That's our story. So we didn't have any loud mouth type stuff. Yeah. We were kind of conflicting with your shoes. We just wanted to complement it a little bit. And then we have the simple um, rubber belts with a zinc alloy buckle on it. They're only going to be $40 and it'll come in four colors. Interchangeable buckles from Interchangeable color? Interchangeable buckles. Okay. You can do whatever you want with them. You cut them to your size. It's one size fits all. So it's, uh, we'll wash them in the dishwasher. You could. Yep. yep. Right. Well, fantastic, uh, James. I, I'm glad to see the company growing and uh, it was fun to watch you on Big Break. Thank you. We were, we were rooting for you. Yeah, appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I guess we could look at the saucer box really quick. You yeah, want to take a look at the right now? Okay, yeah. let's check it out. So this is just in prototype. We had a company called Chip Box come to us and say, "Hey, what do you think of this?" And we were like, "That's amazing. That's perfect." So we had them built here for the trade show. And thinking about how we can brand this in golf shops, and then there is a miniature version here, which we may, if we can. Um, have the kicker shoe boxes turn into a little miniature saucer boxes. So buy a pair of shoes and get a free saucer get box. A free training tool, you know, <laughs> a really cool one. Um, and the saucer pass is kind of has a life of its own, if you will. Um, so we're kind of using that for kicker, trying to brand it as much as we can. It's a useful shot more than anything. I, I'm tempted to try it myself. My well, short game I is think not make it look terribly a lot good. Easier than Easier said than done, I guess, but being having the hockey background and shooting right handed seems it's really easy for me compared to other people. Um, well, let's just give it a shot. Honestly, it's as easy as this. Yeah, we saw the instructions over here. So, first of all, it's it's a it's a hockey grip, it's not it's a hockey grip, yep. you're sliding into the ball. You're gonna look stupid doing it. One of the major tips is just forget how stupid you look and realize that it's gonna help you get up and down. That's the name of the game. But I'll I'll try a lampshade on my head if it works. <laughs> on which? I need my socks to dry. But yeah, it's as simple as taking it back and then sliding it through. We'll get one in there. Two. Nice. Well done. Well, thanks, James. Appreciate it, and yeah. once again, best of luck.